Hello, I'm Miss Tell It Like It Is. I hope everybody's doing wonderful out there. I'm doing wonderful. Today's topic is going to be um, when you feel stagnated. Okay, and often we as people, sometimes we do get stagnated in our lives because we have so much on our plate. We have decisions to make about our careers or we have decisions to make about family or we have decisions to make about our husband or our wife or our boyfriend and our girlfriend or our friends and sometimes because we have so much on our plate everything can come together and be overwhelming and sometimes we don't know where to start because we have so many major decisions to make in our lives that we just become stagnated. We just we just become stagnated because we are overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with anxiety, frustration, Mental and physical exhaustion. And it can happen. It can happen. And my remedy, because this is something I am working on in my personal life. My remedy is when you have so much on your plate and so many major decisions to make in your life. My remedy is just writing it down. Writing everything that you have to do. From most important to least important. I mean, it's all important, but, you know, some things in our lives are more important than others. And then writing down a time that you're going to dedicate to whatever you have to get done. And then when you get it done, you just cross that checklist out. And then you go to the next one. The hardest thing is when you have people in your life that you care about. And they care about you. But they demand your time and your attention. And some people do not understand all that you have on your daily you know, list, on your all the decisions you have to make. So sometimes these people are demanding so much attention from you. And then when you can't give them this attention, they take it personal. Well, this is the time that, and for me, this is the time that everybody that I love or care about, I have to explain to them, listen, I have a lot to do, okay, a lot on my plate, so I need you to understand that basically, I don't mind spending time with you, but my time with you has to be limited. And I have to fit you in my schedule. And if you love me, you will understand this. Because I have to stay focused. And if these people love you, okay, they will understand. And they won't take it personal. In fact, a lot of them will say, okay, you know what? I have no problem with you. Taking this amount of time and spending with me. Because face it, people, a lot of people, you know, you could be family, friends, like I said, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, and wife. A lot of people are not conscious about how they suck up your time. They just enjoy your time, your energy so much that they just. They spend so much time with you. And then a lot of times you wonder why are you not getting other things in your life done? 
It's because you have not prioritized the people that you love. You not prioritized them in a specific time to spend with them. So you have all this, all these decisions that you have to make. Along with all these people who love and care about you. And all these people who are demanding. It could be even your kids. Everybody's just demanding your attention. So you are like a, a person, an actor or actress with many hats in life. Okay. Your mom over here. Some of your mom and dad. Okay. Some of your dad and mom. Okay. Your husband, your wife, uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friends, you know. Um, you have so many people. And then you just have, some of you just have associates. And everybody, and sometimes it's even strangers, that are trying to get into your life. And my, my thing is, baby, when it gets like that, I'm just going to tell you. And this is my saying. Get in. Where you fit in, okay? <laughs> and if you're not fitting in, don't take it personal, okay? Because for me, for Miss Tell It Like It Is, that's my saying, get in where you fit in. And if you're not fitting in where you want to fit in, do not take it personal. So people, it's all about prioritizing your time and mapping out what's most important and then also prioritizing the time that you're going to spend with people that you love now some of them may not understand they may not understand well you can't talk on the phone no more than 10 to 15 minutes okay but for me I'm, since I'm still like it is tough okay like I said, get in where you fit in. <laughs> and if you're not fitting in where you want to be, then hey, it's okay. I think the reason why I brought up this subject is because um, I see a lot of people that I know that deals with this, including myself, you know, um, and it is so important to know and have limits and boundaries in your life with the people that you love, okay? It's important, okay? And it doesn't matter who it may be, mom, dad, children, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, associates, co-workers, who, what, whoever it may be in your life that wants to suck up and take up your time, but they're not aware of it, they're not seeing what you have to do. This is why you have to communicate, people. You have to tell them, look, I have this to do. You, you don't always have to go on Pacifics, but just let them know. I have a lot on my plate. And please don't take it personal. But I have to stay focused. I have to get this done. So I can't talk to you right now. I will have to talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Now, if it's important, you may want to stop and talk to that person if it's an emergency. But just sometimes all these people, you know, they tend to take up your time. And they're not conscious of it. They're not, a lot of times, not deliberately doing it. It's just that, like I said, a lot of people, you know, when they love you, they want all this time. And they're not conscious that, hey. You don't always have all the time to spend with them. So, so it's about prioritizing. Prioritizing your time. Everything that you have to do from most important to least important. And then prioritizing the time that you have to spend with those that you love. And when you become more organized and prioritize that it does not become overwhelming saying that people i miss it like it is this is a short video have a wonderful day i'm out to loop